Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. It has been quite a while since I've actually played this. I've been uh, doing my Dead Space 2 Let's Play. And there have been a few changes on this. I've increased the anti-tropic filtering from 4 times to 18 times. It basically uh, makes some of the textures smoother, less blurred. So, should hopefully improve quality a little bit. It's not as much a resource hit as I thought it would be, so... And now, uh, I've still got side quests I can do. I might skip them. Or I might go and do them now, I don't know. I know I could probably talk to my people now. Investigate the station. Yeah, might as well. It's gonna take some getting used to. I'm gonna take some time getting used to the controls again. I've gotten so used to using a uh, using my Xbox controller. <laughs> using a mouse is gonna piss me off. Maybe not piss me off, but annoy the hell out of me. To how unresponsive I may seem. How fumbling at my incompetence. You can probably see it more on these if you've checked. You can see the weave a lot easier. You might be able to, I don't really know. <laughs> Overload. Not you, Garrus, you've done up fully. Pretty much everybody's locked and loaded, ready to go. That doesn't look good. Everybody's dead. And this is um, the bit quest line we were doing at the beginning of the last episode with the mechs on that planet. Not the rocket launcher. Well, admit I'll do like that. It's quite a nice sound. Damn, that feels so. Overly sensitive. More suggestion we've cut power to all systems and save critical life support in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last out on our own. Dr. Telson. Not Telson, not Tailson. Doctor, a funky name. seem jerky but it's only like when I move the mouse. Overly sensitive I think. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. My firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only resource is to just do nothing and convince her that we're not a threat. Apparently a fat lot of good that did ya. Power outage detected in the station. Mainframe is locked down for security purposes. Yep, 
it's um, the time now is about one o'clock something. Um, Twenty to two. Actually, no, ten to two. Teach me to have a glance at the telly. And uh, I'm going to Research be shopping in the morning. Restored. Maybe get Nino Kunai. Maybe do a let's Beam play. Engaged. Test area has been locked down, down according to protocol M29-2. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Yeah, yeah, stop talking. Let me move the damn things. Testing area has been unlocked. Thank you. All personnel take this opportunity to leave the station immediately. But what if I want to stay? I like it here. It's cozy. Sure, it could use a little good work. Look at some frail rugs won't we? won't fix. Plasma venting in progress. Attempting to reach the maintenance controls will most likely result in serious injury or death. Thousand credits. Well, a thousand three hundred, but yeah. Seven hundred and fifty. All in all, all two thousand. Kinnings, I'm positive that the trouble with our VI started after the uh, Corsica docked with us. So Lisa is looking into the VR itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the log and find out everything that was on that ship. Dr. Galvin. Plasma is dangerous, and it actually acts differently than it is on the place. All attempts to decontaminate station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. Maintenance area power restored. Ironically, we don't actually need to shoot anything. In this one, anyway, it would seem. Yeah, it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt to bring a gun. Or several. Always oh, useful. Attention, all docked personnel. We are expecting a shipment of mech parts from the Hankidar facility on Capek. Ashkin Titan Nebula. That's our next destination. Make sure the VR knows to accept a docking request from the freighter MSV Corsica. Kenning. There have been four fatalities on this station in the last week. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. <laughs> Not four injuries, four fatalities. Charming. Living area power restored. Have been three doors enabled. Three doors enabled. All doors disabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. That was completely random, by the way. But there was only so many combinations it could have been. I would have got it eventually.
I regret to inform you that all attempts to defend the station have failed. Shutting down security protocols. Bye bye, hello, bye bye. Uh, just to know, I'm not going to be bothering increasing the brightness anymore. If it's a little too dark, I'll increase the brightness on the actual game. Because the brightness increases on the other one, it makes it a little bit too pale. And you lose some of the... Well, you lose a little thing in translation, I guess you could say. This looks a little bit better without the extra brightness. And... To do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do... What to do... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Let's have a look. Source of VI virus detected. From Hedy, information received. Planet information, Capec, hacking system, Titan Nebula. Yes, let's go and see what is causing this malfunction, or at least stop it at the source. interested in the, this quest line, keep watching. If not, I might as well just say skip, because it's just going to be this. The next episode will be the proper story. Story missions. Get these out of the way. Once they're done, I can just uh, go through the main story then. Still have yet to buy Mass Effect 3. <laughs> For the PC, anyway. Got it for PlayStation 3, but you can't use all of the decisions you've chosen. I have found something. That kind of sucks. You can't even copy them to a flash drive and then edit them. And there were a lot of choices from the first game, which uh, kind of don't get carried over and. The opposite ones that I ended up doing. Most of them are bad choices, or m bad or neutral choices. I've gone all good, so. It has bloody shifters run. This has to be different. Hostiles up ahead! Can't poke your head out, I know there's one more there. This can get a little hairy, if I remember right. It's got infinite spawns until you move beyond a certain point, and they stop spawning there. It can be a real pain in the ass. Charming. Attention all personnel, our new circuit board supplier has issued an immediate recall on the MX7552 4A obedience processor, which has been found to cause systematic breakdown on associated components. We have begun the search for a new supplier. In the meantime, discontinue use of the MX7552 drop over notice. No response. Basically, it's just telling you that stuff has gone wrong. And now, this can't be bothered to read it all.
because I think I've bit my tongue and it's right where my tooth is, so talking is kind of pain. You think anyone's still here? Chief, I've located an Asari doctor in Telesari. said about being able to run into a room and clear it out. It kinda goes like that. The shield might come down, but Well, I could beat the living thing shit out of it, it would still be a pain in the backside. And shut them all down and self destruct. Tell you would make a good squad member. Why is it Clark? Ooh, I have earned some money, lots of money to buy things with. Yes, bum 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 bum. you received a new message at your private terminal. I could have guessed that myself, love. An important request. Mr. Jinek Ihal Esquire. Dear Sir or Madam, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request that of your, your assistance to transfer a large quantity of profane technology and covered it in ILOs. Believe these materials to be a hazardous danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think I've actually had this one before. Go and check it out. <laughs> hmm. Nothing. <laughs> ah, well, maybe 
vehicle will take part in the next game. So, uh, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've been watching my videos, keeping up, this will probably be a nice change of pace from my uh, horror games. And um, please comment, uh, leave feedback, like, favourite, subscribe, what, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.